Hello everyone, in this video, the Smoking Cessation and Breathing Better team will discuss the effect of marijuana smoke on lung health. As mentioned, marijuana smoke contains harmful chemicals that can deposit themselves into the lungs and damage them. This results in worsened breathing, worsening symptoms with existing lung disease like COPD and asthma, and also can cause you to be ineligible to receive a lung transplant. Damage to the lungs caused by smoking marijuana can increase a number of uncomfortable symptoms such as coughing, increased sputum, as well as increased inflammation of lung tissue. A review by Tashkin published in 2013 tries to summarize the effects of marijuana smoking on the lung. The review showed that regular use of marijuana causes airway injury that leads to symptoms of chronic bronchitis. In a similar study, published in 1987 by the same author in LA, a convenient sample of 144 regular smokers of marijuana showed that compared to non-smokers, these smokers had significantly higher prevalence of chronic cough, sputum, wheeze, and at least two prolonged episodes of acute bronchitis in the past three years. So now that we have a better idea of how marijuana smoking affects lung health, how does it affect risk of lung cancer? Well, studies have shown conflicting results. Some have found evidence that ties marijuana to lung cancer, while other studies show little to no connection. Researchers suggest that this is likely related to how difficult this topic is to investigate, because many studies were done in areas where marijuana is or was illegal, so it was difficult to gather reliable information. Therefore, with the legalization of marijuana in more areas, more studies certainly need to be done to clarify the link between marijuana smoke and lung cancer. With that said, I'll provide one example of a study that studied the connection between marijuana smoking and lung cancer. So this study looked at adults aged over 55 years of age in New Zealand, and it compared the marijuana smoking history of adults with lung cancer and those without lung cancer. The study found that the risk of lung cancer increased by 8% for every year of marijuana smoking, which is in contrast to an increased risk in lung cancer by 7% per year for every year of uh, tobacco cigarette smoking. So the conclusion was that long-term cannabis use increases the risk of lung cancer in adults over 55 years of age. However, once again, this is only one study, and uh, considering the location that it was in New Zealand rather than Canada, as well as the limitations on the age of the adults, more data is needed to determine the risk of marijuana overall on lung cancer. Now finally, how does marijuana affect the risk of cardiovascular disease? Well, smoking marijuana has various effects on the cardiovascular system. Immediately after smoking, it increases people's heart rate and blood pressure and it can also increase the risk of stroke, heart disease, and other vascular diseases over time. However, more research is needed to understand the full impact of marijuana use, both in smoking and in other forms, to determine if marijuana use leads to higher risk of death. So I'll be discussing the differences between marijuana and tobacco smoke on lung health. Firstly, it's important to note that any smoke, whether it's from marijuana or tobacco, uh, it's harmful to the lungs. Here are some differences and similarities between marijuana and tobacco smoke. Firstly, the way the compounds are smoked in itself is different. Marijuana is typically inhaled more deeply and users tend to hold their breath for longer than tobacco smokers, leading to greater exposure to the chemical per breath to tar. There's also fundamental pharmacological differences. For instance, components of cannabis smoke reduce some carcinogenic pathways, while tobacco smoke enhances some. However, it's important to note both sources of smoke contain many of the same toxins, irritants, and carcinogens that promote inflammation and carcinogenic effects. In a study by Pletcher and colleagues published in 2012 found um, that in healthy adults ages 18 to 30 years old, occasional and low cumulative use of marijuana was less harmful to the lungs than tobacco. They also found that tobacco led to consistent loss of lung function with greater exposure, whereas with marijuana, uh, to a certain level, air flow rate increased rather than decreased. However, the researchers still cautioned heavy use of marijuana smoking. In a more recent study by Hancox and colleagues, which followed individuals from ages 18 to 45 years, they found that lifetime cannabis use may be associated with impairment of gas transfer, hyperinflation, and increased large airway resistance in mid-adulthood. Like the other study, they noted that lung function changes were different between tobacco and marijuana smoking. 
Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new about how marijuana smoking could affect your lung health.